Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to temporarily disable a customer website or just your very own website um, or maybe you you know you have a site that you're working on but you want to do like a coming soon or put it into maintenance mode so that's what I want to show you today and so I'm using a local uh, hosted uh, WordPress installation and so I'm already logged in and so essentially what you have here is that once you log into the admin dashboard you'll need to go to the plugin section you'll need to uh, click add new and then that will take you to a subsequent page that looks like this and then go ahead and just type in WP maintenance mode you'll see that there are a number of coming soon page and maintenance mode um, plugins that you could use and so we're going to use this one called WP maintenance mode uh, like I said you can feel free to use a number of the plugins and you can tell just by uh, the number of uh, reviews that a plugin has or the number of active installations I've never used coming uh, soon page coming soon page and maintenance mode by CProd but um, certainly feel free to use it as well we'll go ahead and install WP maintenance mode and as we wait for it to install essentially it will install and then you will see an activate button there just like we see now go ahead and click activate and once it is activated then here in settings you will now see it says WP maintenance mode let's go ahead and click maintenance mode and then basically you have a number of things um, that you know you could use so obviously it's deactivated right now but you could allow search engines to bypass maintenance mode if you wanted to so for this I'm just gonna say no uh, you can also decide uh, which user roles are allowed to access the back end. Administrators will always have access, but if you wanted to do editors, authors, you could do that. You could also um, choose which roles have front end um, you know, access. Uh, you could also do a redirect. Um, you can tell it what to exclude. Uh, and then it's like, do you want to see notices when maintenance mode is activated? You know you can change that to be and then also now you can use and actually design your own maintenance mode and so um, again I kind of alluded to you could use this plugin let's say you have a customer who has like a website or non-payment instead of taking the complete site offline what you could do is basically put it into maintenance mode and come in and you know select uh, you know change all these things um, these various fields headings and then the text to read as such also you can do backgrounds custom backgrounds um, and so what we'll do you can also do a countdown if you want to show a countdown enter in the date you know uh, or or you know basically just say hey from 79 days and one hour and whatever minute you could do that you could also show um, a subscription which will then show you whether or not it's ready you can also do uh, social network links if you want to um, as well as use Google Analytics for tracking um, you can also do uh, contact information so you can you know here I have a Gmail address that's already uh, inputted there based on the admin role that is that's associated with the account you can also manage uh, the bots in terms of whether things are activated or not um, and so you can put in you know the various messages uh, I tend not to use it and then also you can also do uh, GDPR which you definitely want to be GDPR compliant especially if you're going to be receiving information from folks uh, so you can use that as well and so essentially once it is activated then you can save it and then um, what I'll do here now is I'll bring up another um, I'll bring up another here we 
go we'll bring up another window and we'll just type in local host s s i and so there's what the maintenance mode now looks like so the reason i couldn't bring it up in the other is because i was already logged in and i didn't want to log out so that being said this is what it would look like so you know hey it could be you know this website has been temporarily disabled due to non-payment um and so it's just a lot easier versus having to go in um rename and change folders put up a static page you can do that all from that customer uh account now that being said the other thing that you'll have to look out for is that you know because you're using this wp maintenance mode if that customer has access to the wp maintenance mode then you're likely going to have to um, likely disable that user um, or you know essentially change the email address i mean you're you would likely have to figure out your workaround there because if not then the customer could log back in and basically disable maintenance mode and or you know suspended payment mode and then you know they're back off to the races but that's just something to consider but whether it's non-payment for a website or whether it's just you're working on your website and you need a temporary temporary page or a coming soon page this plugin offers that like i said there are other plugins that offer um you know the same if not more functionality and so definitely use this as you see fit um using the various you know general options as well as design modules manage bot and then the gp uh gdpr settings so that's it for this tutorial i hope that um this video helped you certainly let me know um, if you have questions or comments feel free to leave them below the video here as well as please 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 subscribe to um kickstart commerce the youtube channel here i drop a video a new video tutorial video every wednesday um, and i'm covering search marketing tips and tricks as well as wordpress tips and tricks as well as domain name investing strategies to help you grow your business and so last but not least please visit kickstartcommerce.com and in the right hand column sign up for the daily scoop newsletter where i share with you a wide range of uh, topics pertaining to digital strategies to help grow your business so thanks and look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial